Hello everyone, my name is Ben Pope and welcome to another online battle, it's a battle replay, we haven't done this in a while, uh, and I actually haven't done any of these since this patch, so uh, quite a few different things have, you know, shown up uh, that I wasn't aware of uh, in this patch. Uh, my opponent brings uh, f four veteran riders, a noble horse, uh, these are heroic nobles, three of them, painted ones, about five, and Britain slingers. Um, I wanted to make sure I said what he brought right now because we can't see his army for a while. The enemy has played right into our hands. We have fortune on our side and the wind in our hair. And we have a lot of hair. <laughs> so, let's dance. Uh, <laughs> this, um... Right this general is funny. The, the one I, so I, what I do is I watch the replay for myself one time just to see how I can comment and he was saying something about look at these barbarians on these islanders they're not like us they like uh, to spend their time on drinking and chasing women much like we do <laughs> stuff like that so, so he's like let's see if we can even, let's see if they can fight like we do anyway it was funny uh, so I have two spear horsemen which I just uh, ride out to see what he has and I end up hitting his uh, slingers he had three Britain slingers there um, was quickly being supported by painted ones uh, so I just kind of ran through him to damage as much as I can before I get hit by the painted ones uh, what I brought is I brought um, a core of armored spears which have good armor and defense um, I brought I think this is five of them I brought Three mercenary axe warriors, um, two of the heavy nation skirmishers, which have good armor and health, one on each flank. I have three of the heavy nation bowmen, uh, which also got a buff with this patch with some extra armor and range. The range is up. Um, see, by now I kind of killed almost all of his slingers. Um, and I'm having to run away there, so my horsemen are going to get caught, but they're going to get away mostly intact. Uh, my general is a noble swords, uh, definitely the deadliest unit that the Gete or the Dacians can bring. I have a noble horseman, which is also fairly de deadly, um, and I brought two falcsmen for a little bit of the fear effect and a bit of just uh, helping with calf, whatever calf he might bring. Um, when I play as Gete, I'll have a couple of these back here because if the uh, enemy gets cavalry around to, uh, to outflank me, I'll have these and he'll be like, oh, Foxman, whatever, but these guys have a, a bonus against cavalry, against large, so they will actually chop up calf with their uh, big weapons. Can you see your weapons? No, they're hiding. Um, right, so we're gonna fast forward just a little bit uh, to see what happens. He's gonna, he was, I believe, a fairly new player, um, but that's fine, everybody has to learn eventually. Uh, that, that's probably why I caught his slingers way out there and they were not protected. You want to keep your slingers behind your line if possible. My Dacian Bowman were out here to uh, shoot at whatever came and his heroic nobles uh, took quite a few casualties from my um, Dacian Heavy Bowmen were also on quick reload which is gonna make them tired uh, but as you can see that unit is dropping quite nicely uh, then I just move my armored spears up front uh, my Dacian Bowmen are now exhausted uh, or tired because of using um, quick reload I didn't move my uh, spears far up enough and so my bowmen are going to get caught in there with the melee and that's not good. But he pretty much charges everybody up there, uh, including his Britain slingers, uh, while my horsemen are yelling kill kill kill. And same with the uh, skirmishers tossing um, javelins.
and I see some javelins getting tossed. Oh, I missed this. Um, so he pretty much charges all of his um, cavalry, the four heroic riders and the noble. Wait, no, no, the heavy one is heroic riders. The other ones are veteran riders. Charge them into my axemen, ax warriors, and uh, my station heavy skirmisher is going to get the worst of that. Uh, my ax warriors are going to survive because they have decent, decent armor. And they have good armor piercing and their weapon damage. Um, see their axe, well, it's only five, but that's more than the sword units. Um, and at this point I brought my Foxman out here and I'm gonna toss them into the uh, veteran riders. And of course, that's gonna add a uh, morale penalty, uh, eventually. And these guys are eager for fighting cavalry, so. Um, also I noticed that units in this match will uh, flee or route a lot faster. See this guy at, at 55 men left, he still half a unit left, he routed. Um, same with some of his like painted ones, 73. So I don't know, is that you guys like that in a way? That's cool because you get um, before you had some of your units you know fight to the last man and it was just like Arr. but that felt better I think anyway let's see this uh, heavy nation bowman got caught in the melee there uh, pretty much where he had heroic nobles my spearmen didn't last um, but where he had painted ones my spearmen just held their ground and I was able to get um, just toss javelins in and, and chase with my horsemen um, Uh, I don't know what that was. I'm trying to get into uh, see the rear charge here. It's not really devastating, but um, see what I want to show you is this. Uh, noble swords tossing their javelins. I put them on battle rhythm, toss their javelins into horsemen. Can't really see what the damage is. Um, anyway, so that's gonna wrap up my opponent as soon as his uh, heroic nobles here start breaking. But again, um, That's not going to be a devastating charge because it's just melee cav, uh, but attack in the rear, it's going to give him a penalty. And I, again, not sure if I like your heroic infantry wavering at 81 men left. I guess attack in the rear and everything, but that still feels a bit early. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think about that. Serena! Kind of charging into my one man here, but some fighting. Stab him! Oh. I wanted to see more fighting. Okay, so again, pretty good, pretty good fight when the units come clashing together. I see he's not a very strong uh, faction, but neither is Daisha. Daisha has a few cool tools like the Falksman, if used correctly, and um, I'm glad these bowmen got a boost to their uh, range because they needed it. And these heavy skirmishers are actually pretty good. Um, for me at least, because they have like 60 armor. So, yeah. That makes them better against other missiles. Um, my noble swords didn't really get many kills. 
because I didn't really need to use him. But yeah, let me know what you think about the uh, units wavering and routing that early. I didn't know that was a thing in this patch, but again, I didn't have any time up until now to play um, any online matches. This was a match in the quick battle. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't really do many quick battle matches because I, I like to go in and uh, create my own or join one that's created for one on one in the multiplayer battles. So yeah, please comment with uh, what you think uh, of the current combat online. I think it's so entertaining. Uh, you just have to really be more careful because normally you would have a unit like this, you know, be able to last quite a bit on its own and and, f and fight down to like, you know, maybe 20 men before it routed in previous patches. But now um, it looks like there's morale penalties and everything that come in a lot stronger, uh, which makes the battles quicker. Um, but is that a good thing? I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. Depends. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Bye.